Hello everybody, it's your girl Annie from Med School Life and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what you can expect when you are actually in med school. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. Everybody's going to be excited to be there. Um, you're all going to be friends at first and then the division will happen. So prepare yourself. It's okay. It's normal. Everybody has their own way of being. Now, when that happens, everybody's going to have an opinion about how they should prepare, how they should study, how you should start studying for the MCAT, I mean the um, USMLE right away. Let me just tell you something. When you are in medical school, focus on medical school. You can study a little bit for the USMLE in your spare time if you have spare time. But don't feel pressured by other students who have never taken the USMLE, who have no idea what it's about, and have never been through med school before. Uh, yeah. Listen to the people who've done it, who've been there, who know. Like your girl, Annie. Okay, so when you get there, set your own pace and stick to it. When everybody starts slinging their opinions around, ignore them. When it is time for you to start studying for the step, you will get a step program and you will use that program. You will maximize that program. Okay? Do everything they tell you to do. Make sure you budget. Put the money in your budget to get a prep program. The mistake a lot of students make is they travel, they vacation, they spend all their money, and then when it comes time to purchase a prep program, they're forced to get a cheaper version of some program other than the ones that are the top-notch programs out there. So don't do that. Don't waste your funds on frivolous things because you're going to need it. You're going to need your money for application fees and prep programs. And uh, if you have to take the NBME before you take the USMLE, there's a cost to that. And there's a cost to taking those um, pre-tests to get you ready for the NBME. Now, what do I want to say about your classmates? Listen. As if you have one good study buddy, that's all you need. You don't have to be friends with everybody. You don't have to have this huge, big social life. You know, build it the way you want to. Don't feel like you're being left out. I definitely studied a lot more than the other people in my class because I'm older. I wanted to be um, studying all the time. So I didn't go out as much. Um, I didn't socialize as much, but it's okay. Now that I'm done with my basic sciences, <laughs> now I go out, now I have a social life, now I'm enjoying med school immensely. I just delayed my fun so that I could get through all my classes, which I did, so I'm happy. So that's my suggestion for you and how you can get through med school with your faculty still intact without losing your mind. All right, it's your girl Annie from Med School Life. Enjoy your day, and I will see you on the wards. All right, bye.